Okay, today we're going to be cleaning the Celestron 130DX. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. The secondary mirror is good. Primary mirror I'm going to be cleaning. Oops. Let's see if I can get the glass in there. I mean, I doubt you guys are going to be able to see it, it even dirty. That's not helping. Oh, let me shut that down. But that's it. We're going to clean that guy down there. Primary mirror. I'll be back once I have these four screws off. And... Be right back. Alright, since you've been gone, I got the four screws out. And I just marked it with the Sharpie. Got a little sloppy with the Sharpie. Anyway, primary mirror just comes off at that point. Well, I need my other hand. I'm going to take it off. Alright, got the mirror out. You can see how it's dirty now. Stuff just falls in there. No matter what you do. Got the telescope over there so no dust goes in. It gets on my secondary mirror, but that's it. Just comes out with those four screws. You can see where I got sharpie and where there's no sharpie. And then I'm using 91% rummy alcohol. I didn't dilute it with water or nothing. Just straight up 91% rummy alcohol. Should be fine. Done it once before. Got the cleaning tissue out of this kit off Amazon. Super nice, I recommend it. I'm just gonna clean this by putting a piece of tissue on it, wet with alcohol, and then just slide it past. Maybe I can record that, maybe I can't, but it's pretty easy. Okay, I got the mirror blown off and brushed off. Hmm with that brush right there. There's still some stuff stuck on it, so I am going to use the rubbing alcohol before rinsing it. This is the tissue paper. I'm just going to get it wet, try getting this on video. Okay. I'm just spraying the tissue a little bit. Spraying the mirror a little bit. So now just rest the tissue on the mirror. Just kind of make sure it's nice and stuck on. And then you just take the paper and you pull it. Just like that. And then you'll be left with a little streak of nothing left behind. And then you just repeat that process. You just spray the mirror a little bit. Flip your piece of paper over so you don't use the same side twice, if that's important to you. It's really not that important to me. This telescope's not too expensive, but I didn't scratch it last time by doing it this way, so I'm just going to do it like that. Um, I'm going to finish this off camera, but you get it. I'll be back once I'm fully done. I'll explain that residue later. So now I got all the little particles off that are stuck and I'm left with this residue. I'm going to take it over to the sink and give it a rinse. Don't worry, I won't blast you on the internet this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to run it over cold water. Because why shock the material? Turn this nice cold water. And then when it's all wet like that, you can wipe it with a tissue or get that white film off. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to spray it with some rubbing alcohol over the sink. Now it's all wet. 
The bottom is cardboard, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Now most of that clouding is gone. Just a little bit left, which will come off in the final process. So the first time I used Brita water for the final rinse. This time I'm going to use zero water because that's what I use at home now. Just pour some zero water on it. It's like a spot free rinse basically. Just like you get at a car wash. And that's it. I'm going to blow it dry with the little puff blower thing that came in that cleaning kit. You can see that'll be sufficient enough for the great conjunction tonight. Be back in a second. Okay, now I just dried it off as fast as I can with the paper towel everywhere else but the mirror. And now just blow away your spot free rinse. And hopefully you'll be left with a perfectly clean mirror that is ready to use. It looks like I'm going to be left with a little spot. But it's okay. You can just repeat the rinse process. And you'll be good to go. Yeah, you know, looks like I'm going to have to repeat the rinse process a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the part you shouldn't kill yourself over. I'm going to see if I can't get this the right way. And you can see there's almost nothing left on the glass. If you hold the mirror up like this, it collects dust instantly. But that's a hundred times cleaner than what it was. Wow, my hair has gone crazy. I'm trying to get this to a point where you guys can see it. Either way, I can't blow it off and hold it at the same time, but that's it. Super clean. If it's not perfect, it's still going to be better than it was. So I'm just going to blow it off, put it back in there, and collimate. I'll be right back. Now it's time to collimate. I like to do this with the telescope facing down at a wall so no dust gets in there and ruins my fresh mirror. But uh, yeah, just get yourself one of these. I mean, I'm sure there might be another way to do it. This is the perfect way to do it. I got it off Amazon. Anyway, I had to collimate the laser itself. This is what I made. I'll make another video if it's necessary, but... Um, yeah, just turn this on. I like to do it at four. See, we're pretty close as is. No mirror, no laser on the wall. We're almost right in the middle there. So I'm pretty sure you start with the secondary mirror or the primary mirror and then finish with the secondary mirror. I'm going to double check that. Start with your secondary mirror, end with your primary. So if you can't see, I'm not exactly in the center of the dot. So I have to adjust these guys right here. How you want to do that <coughs> with your Celestron 130DX is the little Allen wrench it came with. Just shove it in there. Mm. 
you'll feel it grab eventually and then loosen them just a little bit each one just a little bit and you can watch the laser move while you're doing this so while you're watching the laser move you can kind of get an idea on which one you gotta tighten first to get your laser up there in the center right now we're pretty close to being right in the middle I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up and then I'll be right back. So I got mine pretty close to the center and now you can see it looks like I have three lasers. That's because mine was very, very close to collimated already. I mean, if you watch, if I move the phone to the center, you can see my laser basically lines up right with the front thing or secondary mirror mounting bracket. Anyway, pretty much right smack dab in the center of the sticker, factory sticker. And then you look through here, and it looks like we're pretty close, but the laser's reflecting on itself somehow. So you're going to want to loosen these a little bit. The big ones. Oh no, I just messed that up pretty good. So, loosen up these little ones that are your locking screws. And then looking at this guy, you tighten or loosen these to get it perfectly centered. So I'm starting with this one. I'm just gonna tighten it. See how the laser moves? You wanna have it so the reflection meets right in the middle. There's the laser moving into the middle. There's the laser exiting, about right in the middle. That one's about right in the middle. And And I'm pretty much spot on right now. But you can get that red laser to disappear pretty good. Right there. So now the laser is perfectly in the center. I'm going to look back through here. I got one laser again. It's hitting smack dab in the middle of that sticker. And it, the light has diffused back right to the middle. I'm sure you saw the light cruising up here, cruising down there. And I showed you what the actual laser looked like, so you got an idea on what I'm talking about there. But that is perfectly collimated. This thing needs to be collimated sometimes. I removed the glue from there to expose the collimation screws. I'll make a different video, maybe. But after you're done, tighten these set screws back up. These you could crank on pretty good. But if you can't tell, I'm really only using my fingers. I'm not cranking my wrist or grabbing pliers. But that will stay. The laser still looks good. That 
is still perfectly spot on. And I like to just double check my little screws here because I move the telescope around a lot when I'm using it. All my screws are nice and snug. Slightly off on the back now, but hardly easy fix. I like to show the laser, bring it back. Show the laser, bring it back. Show the laser, bring it back. Oh, I had stopped for some reason. I'm going to go back and edit these videos, but <clears throat> lightly tighten these and then crank them a little bit. Double check your work. Pretty much straight. Smack dab in the middle still. Everything looks good. Where's the cap? Wrap it up. And go enjoy your scope. <laughs>